Hey guys, good morning. Anything makes me smile this big, you know what it is. Dave Matthews. That's right, tonight we're going to another Dave show. Packing up the Jeep here. Got all this stuff. I'm sure you're wondering why the heck do you have so much stuff for a concert, Shara? Like a five foot ladder? Why do you need that? Well, first of all, it's a two night concert, so love that for me. But also, we are going to be camping overnight. What? Tent camping and a Dave Matthews concert two nights in a row? What? That's right. Never been there to the camping section before, um, but it looks pretty cool. They had two different sections for camping. Um, one was you could just have like a tent out in the woods and it's kind of more secluded. And then the other one is more just like tailgating where everybody lined up and your tent is behind your vehicle like if you were tailgating. So that's the one that we're going to be doing. And actually we ran into a little bit of a problem because if you have seen um, the tent on the Jeep open up before, you know that it opens up on the side of the vehicle. And where this place, the tent camping is behind your vehicle. So we're like, oh crap, how are we going to do this? Like, maybe we just have to use a regular tent, but nope. We um, ended up having to take off. You can see under the, under the camper thing, there is these tracks that run this way. The tracks run this way and the bars run that way. So we had to actually undo these silver tracks and flip them around so that the tent would be facing the other way. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Stop. <laughs> yeah, so, so yesterday we spent the day um, flipping the tracks around on the tent so that we could have it open up the correct direction. So it wasn't too bad. We didn't need to like drill any new holes or anything in the um, roof wrap frame, so we should be pretty good. Another one back there with some drinks, stuff. Can't wait! So right now we're just buttoning up a few things at home, spending a little bit of time with the girls, and then I'm gonna hit the road. about the thunderstorm and all like I know it's like oh miss people oh that's a little guy I see some that have like a tiny roof thing It like blocks out the sun. <laughs> we got everything halfway set up. Just taking a quick 
bathroom break. A nice cold drink. We got the Malibu Di Serrano. other stuff down in there. So breakfast, some sodas, Gatorade, steak, pizza. Oh, that's already thawing out. Pizza. So up in there, if you go up in there, there's like the individual camping in the woods. This is the best part, but right next to the restaurants and showers. Did not know they had that. And on this side, nice mountain view. Clouds are looking a little threatening up there. That one gave you trouble, huh? Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> well, those are dangerous. <laughs> We, it is downpouring right now, so we are sitting under the awning, but we lowered it, so it's it's like half its height, so it's like just above my head now. But hey, keeping us out of the rain. It's thundering lightning. <laughs> you need it. You need it. This is awesome. Yeah. Let's get it out of the system now. Yeah. Don't hold the metal. <laughs> We've got the booze in here. That's all we need. <laughs> stopped. Everyone is emerging, resetting up their stuff, drying off. It's freaking crazy, man. That's right. Wow. Yep. Yeah. I see it all. Stay on me. Thank you. Cheers. Nobody knows. Training again. It's cooled off about 14 degrees. Oh, really? <laughs> about 14 degrees cooler now, so I've got a sweatshirt on. We're button buttoning things up here, and then we are going to. Are you trying to demonetize me, bro? Hurting the channel. So we're buttoning things up here, and then we're gonna go walk in and uh, see if we can get a poster. 
and yeah, just explore a little bit. for tonight's show, Guilford. Wow, that's pretty. Yeah. That looks like a house on a... On a lake. What's that lake? Winnipesaki? No, the other one. Winnipesquam? Winnipesquam. Yeah. Wow, where's Guilford? <laughs> right here. Oh, almost the end of the tour. Cool. Yeah, we were there too. Cool. Yeah. Did you bring in the rope? Yeah. Where would you like the holes made? Um, here. One up here. Yeah. Huh. Alright. Right down here? I'm gonna poke a hole there and poke a hole here. Nice. So once you're in the venue, you can't leave. So we have to carry this coaster with us all night. So me being a little smarty pants that I am, I brought some rope. We just poked some holes in the container. And then I can just string it like a strap and wear it on my back. You have to carry it. <laughs> like, can I see you doing it? It really cooled off. Thank you. Thank you.
alone with this trip, trying to have a good time and everything. Look the most of this crazy upside down world. Take a chance to see all the beauty inside yourself so you can stand up and fight for it. Full moon, look. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. <laughs> hey, Beaufort. Oh, whose sick tent's this? Wow, look at this rig. Ah, oh, we. Break the tank. Break the tank. Frank the tank. <laughs> yeah, we're back at the um, campsite now. Amazing, amazing show. Could not have, like, I, there are no words. I'm so happy right now. Um, but yeah, we're back at the campsite. Got the grill going. We're gonna make some hot dogs. We make some food. Why? Because we're not freaking going anywhere. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, we're not freaking leaving. <laughs> we can sit and chill and do whatever we want for the rest of the night. Because we're staying here, baby. This was such a good idea. I'm so muggy and sweaty and just soaked and drenched, but I think I might hop in one of these nice cold showers in a little bit. Can't beat it. I got some cheese tortellini. What he needs is the water. Cheers. Day two. Just getting up. It's around 8 a.m. I think we went to bed. Quiet hours was 12:30, so we came up, sat out there for a little bit, came up here around one. I think we fell asleep around 1:30 in the morning. So I got a little sleep. Slept pretty good. It's a little warm up in here now, but it'll be cooler once I get down and out. There should not be any rain today. <laughs> Not like yesterday, anyways, if there is any, but <clears throat> my throat feels sore from screaming. <laughs> I'm surprised I have any voice, because last night when I was, towards the end of the night when I was trying to scream, I was like, <sighs> like it was just squeaking out, I was starting to lose my voice, so that's how you know you had a good time when you 
walk away with no voice. But, um, yeah, so just getting up. Tony's going to be cooking some breakfast. And we literally just have to sit and chill and hang out all day again until the concert tonight. So it should be a pretty, pretty good day. Let's make it a little bit crispy here for you. <laughs> Cooking some lunch right now. A lot of people have left, but there are probably new people coming in around 3.30. So now it's like all empty space there, all that, and that goes like another row back. But yeah. What number is this? It's pretty low, 219. It only had a 745. Whoa. Yep. Oh, look at all the extra room. Woo-wee! <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>
Just keep going. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's Good morning. Looking a little rough right now, but we're just waking up. It's around nine o'clock and um, just packing everything up, hitting the road, go home. Get the sides all buttoned up. <laughs>